Hello. Uh, good morning, everyone. So today we are on a Tuesday. So we'll be uh, seeing another application uh, today that is basically our uh, cache tree. So this works on uh, Microsoft Excel 2007. Uh, it's a very simple application where uh, you just type in uh, the name of the script here and then uh, you have something called as enter date. Enter date is nothing but uh, you enter in uh, previous trading day date. It's nothing but 08 hyphen FAB hyphen 2016. So just enter the previous working day date. This is the format for that and just say OK. And after that, you just click on the historical data button. You're seeing the button here. So just click on that. So this will take some time. So you can uh, so you can just see that uh, the page has uh, refreshed. Now what we do is uh, there is a strategy which you can uh, follow. This one particular strategy, we get usually the scripts that are on news in money control and uh, even in economic times. Now we can trade either in only this or you can have your own choice of uh, scripts which you can trade on. Uh, you will have 30 uh, fields here, 30 scripts that you can trade. Now, let me say, Bharti Airtel idea, we have uh, fundamental news, the tri regulations. Uh, Dr. Reddy's, we have uh, the results coming out. Hindalco, we have some news. And apart from that, uh, we have uh, SRF. And uh, these are the scripts. Uh, uh, these are the companies which will be uh, releasing their uh, results. So you can even trade on this. And apart from this, uh, we have uh, something in uh, economic times that is basically the IT stocks because Cognizant has uh, given a guidance. So all the IT stocks will be active today. And apart from that, the telecom uh, pack. And we have Gale, Bharat Forge, Tata Motors, OBC, uh, and we have IDFC also. So let me just uh, type in this uh, scripts. So I'll let me just retain this SBI, Bank of Baroda, LBK. We'll have some banking scripts. So what you'll have to do is just type uh, the name of the script and just enter. You'll get the prices. So let's add the IT pack. Let me add it here. So that's in fee. So HCL tech, TCS. And uh, Tech Mahindra, and we can even add uh, Hexaware. So I've just added uh, five IT scripts, and apart from that, let me just add uh, the telecom scripts also. So that's Bharti Airtel, Idea. We have Gale, Bharat Forge, Tata Motors, 
let me add here Gail Bharat Forge so that's Tata Motors and apart from this let me add CSC I'll add even uh, Dr. Redis and Hindalco. So let me retain Reliance and uh, ONGC. Just remove our com. Let me add Arbindo Pharma. Let's add some uh, real estate scripts. HDIL. Reliance ONGC can. We have Tata Steel. Hindalco will replace it with. Uh, Let's add uh, RAL Infra. So we have 30 scripts to uh, trade now. Uh, by default, we'll have Nifty and Bank Nifty. And apart from this, so the idea is very simple. Uh, you can just open this file uh, before the market opens. And uh, you just have to log in with your ID, enter the date, then come to the historical data, click on that historical data. Once your historical data is done, you'll have to click on the current day data button. That is at 9.15. At 9.15, uh, once you click the current day data button and uh, just say auto refresh on, you'll get the buy price and the sell price for uh, all the scripts with the stop loss. So let's say in case of SBI, 183.30 that is your current market price CMP that's an uh, equity price that's a cash market price and uh, we have 184.20 that is your stop loss and 184.90 that is your buy price 183.50 that is your sell price so I'm just giving you an example I'll uh, show it in live uh, as soon as the market opens now uh, coming to uh, SGX Nifty The Asian markets are down, so we'll be seeing a gap down open. So SGX is minus 66, and uh, you can just have a look at Nikkei. It has already fallen 5.5%, and, percent. and uh, most of the Asian markets are uh, in red. So now let's get started at 9.15. And to give you a combination of here, uh, the strategy is very simple. You have the buy price, the sell price, but you don't know the trend here. So what we have done here is we have added this AMI broker to this particular system, wherein you will know the trend for a particular script. Now most of the scripts are on the negative side. We saw that yesterday. And uh, since it's going to be a gap down open, we'll be having uh, mostly sell calls today. So let's say in case of uh, I have added SBI here. Okay, let me just add uh, SBI.
So I'll just take the backfill as soon as we get the data. So for the data feed uh, for the AMI broker comes from uh, the ShareGuru that is your trading tree uh, data server. So that's going to cost you around 500 rupees per month uh, for the data charges. Let's pick an access bank. I'll give you an example here. So we know that we already have a sell call here. <clears throat> so in case as soon as the market opens, we'll be knowing what, what will be the buy price and the sell price. We know the trend now. So we'll be able to correlate both the applications that is your uh, cash tree and uh, your AMI broker and you'll be able to trade better since now you know that the trend a trend in this particular script so you will be able to trade on 30 scripts and uh, you might get multiple number of calls and in case if a scripts if some script opens gap up or gap down will not be trading beyond the intermediate target so we have the entry here we have target 1 target 2 intermediate target final target and their expanding targets uh, exponential targets now the percentage is what you are seeing in the middle of this buy and sell that is a percentage of profit in case if uh, a particular script makes its target let's say uh, you get a buy entry or a sell entry on uh, this particular uh, nifty and if it makes its uh, final target you'll be making six six percent profit on that particular trade So let's see uh, how many points gap up or gap down. So that Sensex is 210 points down. So Nifty is 83 points down. So that's going to be a uh, huge gap down. But we'll still wait and then see how the markets perform. So you can have an idea of uh, what's happening in the commodities here. We have crude at 33. Gold, uh, it has rallied yesterday, gold, silver. So this is how uh, you are ready for the day uh, before the market opens. It hardly takes 10 minutes for you to uh, get all these things done. Uh, so now at 9.15 what uh, we should be doing is we will like to click this current day data button and we will put it on auto refresh on mode. And uh, earlier we had this facility that uh, 2 lakhs and uh, 2 scripts. So uh, this is a facility what we had let's say in case if you have 2 lakh rupees and then you want to do only 2 two trades so it will tell you the number of uh, shares that you'll have to buy let's say you want to trade in uh, Bank of Baroda and ALBK with 2 lakh rupees so what we have done is it uh, it will equally allocate between Bank of Baroda and ALBK depending on the price so here uh, with 2 lakhs you'll be able to buy 6000 shares of Bank of Baroda and 16000 shares of ALBK. Now let's say I want to uh, trade in 10 scripts. So the values changes. So I can buy 4000, I can buy 1000 here, I can buy 875 here. So this is how uh, this particular uh, facility works. And you can uh, include your brokerages also here. And the tick mark means that the data for that particular script has loaded correctly and in case if uh, you get an X red mark then it means that particular uh, script you don't have the data correctly so you can ignore that particular script and add another script also so we'll wait for another three minutes and let's get started
so that's 915 so now we'll just click on the current day data button so you can just see this uh, globe icon at the left corner which is rotating it means that the data is being fetched so we'll have to wait till uh, we get the data so now it's still happening So now we can just see that uh, the globe icon has disappeared. Now I just click on the auto refresh on. So now you have the prices. Nifty is SL. Bank Nifty is SL. SBI we have a buy, but we'll just wait. And Gale, it's a gap up open. You can just see that here. So it's a gap up open. So we'll have to ignore this particular uh, trade. The same thing with Infi and TCS. Havels, most of them are uh, gap down or gap up. Tata still we have a buy. So let's get into SBI. I'll just show you. So we'll have to just go to this. Let me just take the back full for that. Okay, I have not added it here. Uh, let me just take another script. So let me just go to ALBK. So we'll wait uh, and we will uh, enter the trade after the candle closes. Tech Mahindra and Hexa where we have an uh, sell. So we'll again wait on this too. So it's a gap down open. So let's wait till we get a uh, clear idea. So Arbindo Pharma, we have a buy here. So you can just see that buy call. So Reliance, we have a buy. There is a cell call in the end, so then I got to be one.
so idea we have this buy let's just check the chart it's not here we'll add it later so that's a gap down open but uh, actually we are getting buy calls So Relinfra has done its uh, final target. So Tata Steel, we have the intermediate target for uh, Tata Steel. So you can just check this access bank, uh, the data is not proper. So we'll change it to some other uh, script. Let's change it to PNB. We have a buy in PNB. So Dr. Reddy, we have this buy alert maybe in case if you'd have just watched this video yesterday so whenever you have a buy alert you get this particular dot and after that you will actually get the confirmation now you can just go and see uh, what's happening here so dr reddy the buy is 3083 so albk has done its uh, final target here So it's very simple. I mean, uh, the way how you tra uh, trade is. Now let's say 3083 happens on uh, Dr. Reddy. You're seeing it here. 3083, you just place and buy order with a stop loss of 3058. That's that's how you'll be trading. And in case if that doesn't happen, let's say uh, it co it comes to 3032, then you just short Dr. Reddy with a stop loss of 3058 so India cement we have a buy here it just came now let me just go to the chart and then just check it I have not added it here. Let me just add it. Bank of Baroda, we have a buy 128.40. So we have a sell call here, but your sell price will be actually this. So you'll be shorting it here. But this is bounced back. So 127 you short it, but uh, here you have another story altogether. You have already have a buy call here, 128.40. So Bharat Forge, uh, we have we had a tick here so let's check what's happening in Bharat Forge so it's still under sell but uh, you have the results we'll still wait
we have Reliance here 956. Let's check uh, what's happening in the charts. So that was a gap down open, but uh, again it has bounced back. You can put this even in a smaller time frame in case if you are not trading uh, full time. So PNB, we already have a buy call uh, in our uh, cash tree. Let's check on uh, HCL Tech. It's already done its targets. Let's see uh, what's going to happen in that. I'd like to add it. Hexaware, uh, there's a probability that we might get an uh, buy call. So 245.70 is the entry for uh, Hexaware. So Bank Nifty, we have a buy call. 14861 So this is something uh, which uh, we see uh, quite often, I mean, uh, whenever there is a huge gap up or a gap down, the market actually, uh, in case if you have just observed, other than this uh, Infosys pack, I mean, sorry, the IT pack, the rest of the scripts are all in uh, green. So you have a gap down open, and then uh, people tend to short the scripts, thinking that uh, the market will further uh, fall. But we never had any uh, sell call in this particular uh, scripts. We all have buy calls. So that's how the system works. So irrespective of a gap up or a gap down open, uh, you'll get the calls perfectly. Heavens, we have a sell here. So you can just see that it's a sell here. Arbindo Pharma, we have a buy. So it's bouncing back. So now we have an uh, buy in Dr. Reddy 3083. So you can take your chances whenever you get uh, the buy alert that is the dot here. You can place your trade there. So, so that is uh, 3079 is your uh, entry.
Tata Steel has done its uh, all targets, uh, same uh, with uh, Can India. So let me just check the charts where we are heading. So that's Can India. And that is Tata Steel. You have a buy entry here. So that is uh, what, what you call as an alert. But uh, when you have a confirmation, you'll get a green buy, a top arrow. So I'll just place my trade here. But it has already done its targets uh, in your uh, futures tree, uh, sorry, your cash tree. So that's around 235 is the entry for Tata Steel. So you can still hold on here. Or you can just keep trailing your stop loss. You can trail your stop loss to uh, 232. And then wait till you milk maximum out of this particular trade. The same thing with Kain India also. Now Tata Motors earlier we had a uh, sell call. Now we have a buy. I'll just show you the chart. So you can just see that uh, we can expect a buy call here in Tata Motors again. So it's already done its intermediate targets. So Arbindo Pharma is moving up. Rural Capital, I again have a buy call. India Cements, I have a cell call here. So Havels, you can just see the cell here. It's already done its intermediate target. So these are your intermediate target levels. So as soon as uh, the particular uh, script makes its intermediate targets, you can keep trailing your stop loss. So that's one of the best way to do it. So in case if you're uh, trading very short term, let's say for uh, a couple of hours or something like that, you can even put it on three minutes and try to book some profits and come out of the trades. It's HDFC and HDFC Bank. Let's just add those uh, at some place. Let me put that in place of gain. So you have an entry for uh, HDFC. 11.47 is the current price. You have an entry at 11.43 for a sell call.
let's check ONGC. It's already done its uh, final target. So that is Tech Mahindra. We can uh, keep trailing the stop loss for Tech Mahindra. It's already done its target here. <coughs> so PNB now we have a sell call. We had a buy call earlier. Bindo Pharma has uh, hit its stop loss. Now it is a sell call. Dr. Reddy is 3063, 3058 is your stop loss. So the idea is very simple. Uh, you should uh, wait till either the stop loss is done or uh, you make some profit. So Hexaware, now uh, the sell has triggered 240 to 30. You can just see that here. You have a sell alert here. The dot you can see. But you already have a sell call uh, in your cash tree here. So you can just wait on this. So Arbindo Pharma, we already have a uh, sell. So in case if you have entered the buy, 240.5 and 238 is your stop loss. But you would have uh, covered it here in this particular sell call.
Allahabad Bank seems to be uh, strong. We have the results today. So we have this buy alert here. But we need a confirmation. So Bank of India, you can short it here. So that's 99.10. Uh, so back to Airtel, we have this buy alert. We can buy at this price or uh, we can wait for the confirmation 31070. So that's SIPLA. SIPLA we have the alert here. So that's 563. It's at 562 now. You can just see that uh, in case if you would have used that particular uh, trade, you will have a uh, sell call here. So in case you feel that it's not in that range, you can see HDFC Bank, the current price is 1026, your entry is 1034, and your uh, short is 1019. If you feel that it's not in your range, then you can uh, get into some other uh, trades. DLF we have a buy call already existing. Dr. Reddy we have a short, we have a confirmation for SL here. So I think uh, it will hit its stop loss there and then we will get a sell call. So it's already done its stop loss. So 30, 32 is your entry for uh, short in Dr. Reddy. So Can Bank has done its final target. Uh, it has been strong from uh, quite a few days. You can get an idea of what's going to happen here. So we should be getting a buy alert here.
So Bank of Baroda, you can just have a look at this. Uh, it's sort of going to make its uh, final target. We have a buy in IB real estate. So Bank Nifty, you already seen that uh, we had this buy call. So Bank of Baroda and SBA have done their uh, final targets. So Bank of Baroda, let's take the chart. Bharat Forge has again come back with the uh, buy. Rel Infra has done all its targets. ONGC, you can see that it's at uh, 215.70. Uh, Tech Mahindra, I was, we were just talking about uh, holding that uh, till it comes down or right trailing the stop losses. So let's check. So Bank of Baroda, you can just see that buy alert has come, but you have already done your profits there. So you can still hold on uh, Bank of Baroda, Can Bank. So we have a buy alert here for Bank of India also. It has already done its final targets. So that's Bharat Forge. Bharti Airtel. Let's go to Can Bank. So you have that buy alert here. You can still hold on. So the idea is uh, earlier uh, we were uh, trying to get out of the trades as soon as they were either making the intermediate targets or uh, the final targets. Now you don't need to uh, get out of the trades uh, as soon as it makes its final target. You can actually keep trailing your stop losses and try to add more profits on that particular trade with this particular AMI broker. So Dr. Reddy, we have already seen a uh, stop loss. HDFC and uh, HDFC Bank, you can just see uh, we have this cell call uh, right from uh, the study. Hindalco, we have that buy. Yeah. I think uh, it's already done. Uh, it's already making its final uh, target, 69.40. So intermediate target is done for Bank Nifty. Now you can keep trailing your stop loss.
ALBK you can just see uh, already at 5460, 5220 was your entry. Let's check the charts. So there you have a buy alert and you have a buy confirmation also. So you can still hold on to ALBK, keep trailing your stop losses. So the idea is very simple. Now, uh, since I have all my targets are done, let's say one rupee here on ALBK. Uh, but uh, since you have got an alert here and an buy confirmation, you don't have to exit your trades. You can still hold on to your trades and try to maximize your profits. So that's the idea behind having a combination of the trend and the prices. So it becomes very simple for you to trade. So you'll be able to trade on uh, all the segments. I mean, uh, all the, I mean, uh, you have the cash market. The prices here, what you're get, seeing are uh, the cash market prices. But you can trade in futures also, and you can trade in options also. Now let's say, how do you trade in options? Uh, in case of SBI, I have a buy call here. So what I do is, I take a 170 strike, since it's a buy call. I choose 170 strike and then I buy in call option. Let me just show it to you. We can even do options very uh, in a very simple way here. Just go to money control. Go to the markets. All stats. Just see which are the active calls. And uh, let's say we'll choose stock options and uh, let's use the current expiry let's say go so we have Vedanta so these are uh, highly traded uh, contracts so we have Reliance 980 is the call let me just show you here 980 call it's already it already did its targets let, let me take another script let's see where is SBI SBI is 180 call option that's highly traded let's take the shares so we have Arcom, Vedanta, Ashok Leyland, IDBI, PNB. One ninety, two hundred, or uh, you can always choose this way also. I mean, uh, you choose one seventy as your strike, and buy a call option. Now, in case of Tech Mahindra, what will happen is, uh, I have a sell call here. So what I do is, I taken strike of 460 and buy and put option so can bank it's at 198 194 was your entry that's up four rupees So we have this buy alert, we'll get a buy confirmation and you can still keep holding your position on uh, CAN Bank. ACC you can see that we have a sell alert here. So in case if we get a sell uh, 
confirmation then you can enter this that's bank of baroda we have a confirmation also so you can still hold on to bank of baroda you are seeing that here same with the uh, union bank it has done all its targets so the psu banks are clearly doing good uh, let me just uh, show you uh, so pharma is oh, pharma and energy is in green when nifty it is 3 3% down psu banks uh, nearly 1% but it has recovered so that's hdil we have an buy alert here so in case if we get an confirmation we can still we have got the confirmation now so we can just still hold on to this particular trade and not exit the trade let's check on tata steel same thing with tata steel you have the buy alert here the confirmation is also there so you can still hold on to that particular trade that's tech mahindra
There we go. By calling the alternate bonk one.
There is a buy call in order at Bank 1.
There is a buy call in. There is a buy call in. There is a buy call in. Order at Bank One.
There is a buy call in there's a buy call in here one buy call in order it bonk one.
So we had uh, actually seen uh, a buy call in Bharat Forge. It has done at stop loss. Now, uh, if you see this particular uh, trade, it is still in profits because it already made its uh, target four also. So let's go check uh, the chart. So that's it. So we have a sell alert in uh, Bharti Airtel. Kotak we have a sell, HDFC we have a sell. So sell in HDFC. You can see that here. Kotak also we have a sell. So Dr. Reddy, we have a sell call, uh, buy call, uh, hit a stop loss. <coughs> Bank of Baroda seems uh, very good trade. You can see that here. Can bank is strong. ACC, in case it has seen this, it's in profit. The sell entry for uh, other enterprises is this. 7310 you'll be kid also seems strong so Apollo hospital we have a cell call let's just check uh, in case we have any calls here so I'll just do it in place of so it's nowhere in the range it's a polar tire is flat Arvind that's a gap down open Ashok Leyland is also flat Luxation paint, uh, we have a buy entry here. 893. So 284, uh, sorry, uh, uh, this is Arvind. I was looking at uh, Asian paint. So we have a buy entry at 890.
So BPCL, we have a buy entry here. I think it would have made some profits already. So it's already done its uh, final targets. Can I think uh, we'll have a buy here. So it's already done its profits here. It's, we have that there. Let's see a C. Sipla, it's a sell call. Coal India is a sell. Coal Pal is flat. Crown Ton Greaves, uh, we can have a buy entry here. DLF has already done its profits. So that's Dr. Redis, we have that sell. Hevels already, we have seen the profits there. It's already done its final target. That's HDIL, it's already done its profits. Hero Moto Co, it's a buy call. Hexaware, we have a short confirmation. Hindalco, we add that buy. Sin Petro, HUL, IRB, it's ITC, Jindal Steel. JSW, we have a uh, sell alert here. Jubilant Food, there's a huge gap down. So that's Kotec Bank. We have a sell call. It's KTK. LNT is flat. Lupin is flat. Maruti is also flat. It's Mine Tree. In TPC, uh, that's on buy call. Uh, we would have made all the, it would have done all its profits. star is a sell call so we are short it here this is the alert and this is the confirmation now we don't have the data for that sun pharma is flat Syndicate Bank, Tata Motors is also flat. We had a call in the morning. Tata Power. So that's Sun TV, Tata Steel. So Tech Mahindra it already done its profits. Voltas,
so these are some of the traits that we have and uh, to give you a brief uh, idea of what happened right from morning we have a uh, buy call in uh, bank nifty uh, it made its intermediate target SBI has done its final target bank of baroda albk can bank union bank idfc havels sell call india cements it has stop loss infi was a gap down open including hcl and tcs tech mahindra was a uh, good call hexaver we have that uh, sell it's already done its intermediate target bharti airtel stop loss is set idea we have this buy running hdfc we have this uh, sell running same with bharat forge tata motors we had an buy call kotak we have the sell running dr reddy buy call hit the stop loss now we have a sell now it's in a range arbindo pharma we had a buy hdl buy reliance ongc kn tata steel and rel infra all these were buy calls which made their uh, final targets to give you an idea we had an uh, gap down open today but uh, most of the calls that got generated in this uh, particular application were buy calls so if you have any more uh, queries regarding this you can just uh, mail me on this id or you can call me on this number Thanks for coming.